this is a recording on measuring the ineffable, the unexpressed, the inquit. It has to do with uh, where in uh, our mind and civilizational thinking we invent new sciences. And generally it's at this edge where the ineffable, ineffable, uh, we need to grapple with it more powerfully and more systematically and more capably and therefore we need to uh, measure it. There's the science of art and we would like to predict auction prices, we'd like to predict the greatness of a work of art, we would like to know what you would add while you're making the work of art to make it greater and we would like to prescribe arts for lives, how much of what kind of art is enough to move a life toward enough well-being enough to be safe and uh, healthy for the person. Then there's a totalization science. The world's most effective deployment of a body of knowledge was the Japanese deployment of total quality knowledge, picked up and copied by Americans and Europeans in the 1980s and 90s. It changed every business in the world. It was the common sense that allowed the Internet to be applied to horizontal business processes instead of vertical silo processes. And uh, they uh, did that by totalizing the treatment of one body of knowledge, quality knowledge, in 22 ways, and by globalizing it, 22 ways. What if we applied those same operators to another body of knowledge? Number three is meta-science. This is things like knowledge dynamics, which are very similar in every field. Systems engineering, system effects are very similar in every field. Uh, managing multiple cultures, that's very similar in every field. These are sciences that cut across all existing fields and professions and sciences. Uh, the fourth would be audience story performance science. Uh, playing, finding audiences, uh, charming audiences, uh, enthralling audiences, and doing performance before audiences are core parts of every profession and field of knowledge. Culture science. Uh, this is creating cultures and operating on cultures, making them stronger and weaker and more stable and less stable and tighter and looser and what have you. Uh, creativity, innovation, and design science, bringing the new into the world. Uh, interface science. Uh, turns out you can uh, change the directedness of people in a mount and specific direction more with interfaces than with the usual hullabaloo of personal leaders. Excellent science. There are 54, it turns out, distinct routes to the top of dance or law or business or any other field. 54 ways you can get to the top of each of those fields, not one way. These are all what I call... Uh, new sciences of the ineffable or ineffable where you're measuring what was not measurable before